Hey guys, I just wanted to get on here and say a couple of things. All of you know I'm a Second Amendment supporter. I consider myself a conservative. I do have some non-traditional conservative views on, on marijuana and gay marriage and stuff like that, but that's here nor there. What I feel like people don't understand is your right to feel safe is not a right, okay? This country provides you the tools as best it can to be safe, but it doesn't provide you the right to feel safe. You don't, that's not a right. That's nowhere in the Constitution. That's nowhere in any state law or federal law. You, there's no right to feeling safe. Now there is a right to be able to protect yourself. There is a right to life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Now that life doesn't mean that you depend on somebody else, aka law enforcement, to provide that life or keep that life for you. It's there as a guarantee for you to be able to maintain and keep that life. For you to protect yourself and those around you. You don't have a right to feel happy. You don't have a right to feel safe. That is all a myth. Now you do have a right to take your safety and your happiness into your own hands and be able to defend yourself and be able to protect yourself from those that would do you harm. And what I, I, I'm tired of hearing is that your right to feel safe trumps my right to do what I can to be safe. I drive the speed limit. I, you know, I don't drink and drive. Those are all steps that I take to be safe. That's my right. I have the right to take steps to be safe. And when it comes to firearms, you are granted the right to protect yourself. Not the right to protection, but the right to protect yourself. Your safety is your responsibility. It's not mine, it's not Joe Schmo police officer, it's yours. You have to take it seriously. And we cannot let these politicians continue to tell us that we have a right to feel safe so that they can disarm us while they have two armed security guards behind them. As a public service servant, they aren't entitled to more protection, they're entitled to protection. We have the same protect uh, we have the same rights to protection as anybody else. You know, I was watching uh, you know, a politician or somebody who's running for president uh, Mr. O'Rourke standing there talking about taking away firearms and we, you know, we have a right to feel safe. That's not the case. All while he has two armed security guards standing behind him, protecting him at all times. That's not okay, folks. Our protection is our responsibility. Just like it's not up to me to have you know, somebody else hand feed me. My food and what I consume is my responsibility. Your protection and what you do to protect yourself is your responsibility. And the more you try and give that to somebody else, the less safe you are. No amount of gun control is gonna make you safe. You might feel safe. And they keep bringing in, you know, England and Australia. There's two, diff there's two things different about them than us. One, they're islands. They control their borders. We don't, obviously. 
I mean, we've been trying the drug war for years, and that hasn't worked. You really think that guns aren't going to slip through there? Come on, let's be honest. And two, they still aren't safe. They still aren't safe. They still have high amounts of crime. Why? Because any criminal knows that there's not any way for protection. Anyway, guys, that's my thoughts, my feelings, and you can take it for what it's worth.